to episode 100 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing a drama film that came out in 2013 that is directed by John Lee Hancock, and that stars Emma Thompson and Tom Hanks, and that movie is Saving Mr. Banks. Okay, so this movie has just started, and so far, we have been introduced to the author of Mary Poppins, P.L. Travers, when she was just a little girl. And now the adult P.L. Travers, here played by Emma Thompson, has just flown into Southern California, which is where I'm from, on a jet plane. Pretty cool, right? She has also now found a bunch of Disney merchandise in her hotel room. I guess it must be because she is being approached by Disney itself for film rights to her Mary Poppins book, Am I Right? And now Mrs. Travers, one of our real-life main characters, has met up with our other real-life main character, Walt Disney, here played by Tom Hanks. Speaking of which, I am also liking how Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson are playing their respective real-life main characters. Wow! Mrs. Travers is a pretty picky author about being approached for film rights to her literary works. I also like how this movie is right now shifting back and forth between P.L. Travers as a child and an adult as well. Well, Tom Hanks is so far a pretty good Walt Disney. Speaking of which, I think I almost look like Walt Disney himself, minus the style of hair he had and his pencil-thin mustache. I also think it would be pretty cool if I was actually related to Walt Disney himself, even as a distant relative or descendant of him. And even more, I think I am just about as good at Walt Disney impersonations as Tom Hanks here is. Now, we are hearing one of the songs from the movie Mary Poppins itself being rehearsed. And it's a spoonful of sugar, to be exact. We are now an hour into this movie, and so far, this movie has done an excellent job of portraying not just the making of Mary Poppins, but also the childhood of its author, P.L. Travers. So Mrs. Travers is engaging in a telephone conversation with Walt Disney about how to do justice to her literary works. Mrs. Travers has now arrived at Disneyland to meet up with Walt Disney himself. Of course, interestingly enough, I have been a regular Disneyland guest throughout my lifetime, am I right? Now they are both on Disneyland's carousel, which of course I have been on multiple times in my life, I think. Now it's Let's Go Fly a Kite that's being rehearsed for the Mary Poppins movie itself. Such a beloved classic tune from a movie it is. So Walt Disney and P.L. Travers are in an in-person conversation about adapting her literary works into his movie. As we get closer to the end of this movie, we are now witnessing the premiere of Walt Disney's Mary Poppins itself. And Mrs. Travers is also being greeted by Disney characters there as well. Oh, look! We are now seeing the finished product of a movie being played, too. Pretty spectacular, huh? Overall, Saving Mr. Banks is a dramatic, in a historical way, great time. Join me next time when I review The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. I'm Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.